King Khalid wanted to buy my bird. The bird uh, actually was killed. And another Arab gentleman was asking me if he could buy the bird to stuff it and put it in a bell jar on his desk. I refused, and he kept calling me and calling me, and finally I told him that I would give him my dead falcon, which he could stuff and put on his desk on one condition. I said, okay, I want you to kill your son, give him to me, I'll stuff him. And he stopped calling me. <laughs> Yes, he is addicted to falcons, and I don't think that's entirely bad. Have somebody to protect them. This should not be taken away from us. Politicians, diplomats, and government heads of state are involved in smuggling these bonds. The best of them sell for more than one million dollars. It's not like he's coming and he's making allegations. There is heavy documentation, yet nobody was willing to act upon it. Why not? It's money. The entire 9-11 operation was not funded out of Bin Laden's personal pocket. It was not funded by Taliban. It was funded out of the Gulf. These are Al-Qaeda's boardroom. The falconry camps are just a metaphor for the way business is done in the Middle East. I was supplying and training the falcons, without which these camps could not exist. I'm interested in falcons, but I've been sucked into a whirlpool of intrigue involving terrorism against my will, against my interest. But what do you do when you walk in a room and you see a falcon and a terrorist? You can report it, but then what do you do when nobody wants to hear it? But she did have a meeting with Osama bin Laden, as I understand. Here's a guy who bumps into Osama bin Laden. I met him five or six times. Our country is still the target of terrorists who want to kill many. But nobody in U.S. intelligence ever wants to meet the one individual who apparently is able to walk in and sit down with Osama bin Laden at will. That's astonishing.